Thanks for logging on to neoweather.com on this Saturday, September 14th, 2013. I'm Jim Sullivan with your video forecast. Looking across the region this morning, it is mostly sunny, still a little bit chilly as a quarter till 11. Temperatures still in the middle to upper 50s. We started off in the 40s today. None of our official reporting stations got down into the 30s. That made me sad, although I'm sure some of you are happy. Either way, it's looking like a nice, sunny, but somewhat cool day today. Taking a look across the entire country now, not a whole lot going on. It's going to be cloudy and cool and maybe a little rainy today across portions of PA, upstate New York, and into New England. We saw that yesterday. Sunny in the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Mississippi Valley. There's some rain stretching from Montana into the Dakotas. That's with a cold front that will get here tomorrow night. And in Colorado, they're still dealing with a sensitive flooding situation in and around Denver and Boulder. They could see a nice surge of rain again tonight into tomorrow, so that situation isn't getting better yet. It should, though, by Monday into Tuesday. And in international weather news, if you want to call it that, we have Tropical Storm Ingrid in the extreme southwestern Gulf of Mexico. This is expected to become a hurricane and impact Tampico, Mexico, right around there, Sunday night into Monday. If you have interest down there, watch this, because it could become a pretty potent storm. Coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers yesterday, we only did 62 and 55. That was several degrees below normal. Today will be a little warmer, but not a whole lot better. Saw a little bit of lake effect rain at Hopkins yesterday, although a good chunk of northern Ohio was still running rather dry on the month of September. We're going to set the sun at 738 tonight. So taking a look at this afternoon's weather map, Big high pressure in control over the vast majority of the eastern U.S. And you can see that cold front made it all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So a nice refreshing air mass for a large chunk of the country. There's a cold front way to our northwest. That's what's going to affect us starting tomorrow evening. So your forecast for today, other than being a little bit cool, no complaints, sunny skies, temperatures mid to perhaps upper 60s tonight. It will be cool again, maybe even a little cooler than last night in some areas because we will clear out. Last night, the lake effect clouds stuck around. Middle 40s for lows tonight. So on your seven-day forecast, a few showers tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Could linger into Monday before we clear out. Monday will cool back off a little bit behind that cold front. Tuesday, Wednesday, we warm back up. Spectacular weather, 70s for highs, 40s for lows. By later in the week, warmer, more humid air moves back in, and we could see the weather pattern become rather active again starting Wednesday night or Thursday. Again, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for logging on. Check us out again tomorrow.